everyone, and good Monday afternoon. It's Eric here, and I'm going to do a real quick video update for you. Uh, after a cloudy morning uh, today, we're starting to see a little bit of sunshine trying to work in as we get into the afternoon. And it's a blustery and cool autumn day. There's the scene in Niles. Looks a little bit more overcast down in Boardman. It's going to be one of those afternoons where some of the time it's going to be pretty darn cloudy. And then some of the time uh, you'll need to break out the shades as it brightens up. Here's the visible satellite. Uh, the clouds have thinned a bit over the last couple of hours. Uh, we had a couple of showers and sprinkles over towards I-79 in Mercer County earlier on. Those pretty much faded away at this hour. Temperatures on the cool side, even by late October standards. 51 in Youngstown as we approach the 2 o'clock hour. Hopkins Airport, Cleveland 53. Morgantown, West Virginia at 61. And Columbus is at 56. And this is what makes it feel even cooler. The wind is gusting up to 24 to even 27 or 28 miles per hour across the region, so that definitely makes the air temperature feel a little bit different. It feels more like the lower 40s as you step outside this afternoon. All right, Weather for Weather Geeks makes its triumphant return this evening. We're going to focus on the medium and long range. Some interesting things to talk about there, including some real ups and downs in the temperature department. We'll have an update on the uh, forecast up in Cleveland for Games 1 and 2 of the World Series starting tomorrow night. And uh, we'll take a peek at the latest uh, climate modeling for the month of November, which, believe it or not, starts a week from tomorrow. That's on Weather Geeks this evening. You can also check out my forecast on 21 News at 6 o'clock and 11 o'clock. I hope to see you then.